I would like to bring this information and uh, message concerning the positioning of the words of the New Old Testament and the book of Revelation on its own. What I want you to understand is this. That the book of Revelation which is being positioned to be the last book in the New Testament is not rightly being positioned in that place. The positioning of the book of Revelation to be as the last of it all was done on a purpose. Where then is the book of Revelation supposed to be? Why one might ask. When you go into the book of Matthew from the book of Matthew now what they try to let people know is that the book, the New Testament started from Matthew. Hmm. But I tell you that the New Testament did not start from what from Matthew. Because for the simple reason Yahushua his birth he was what he was born in what in the Old Testament. So the record the things since Yahushua was born in the Old Testament you know that he is the end of that era so his birth was supposed to be what recorded in what in the old testament and not in the new testament having said that the book of matthew mark luke john this including the book of revelation the book of revelation is supposed to be the end of the Old Testament let me make it more clear so that you can really understand what I'm talking about my dear listener out there the book of Revelation is supposed to come before the book of Acts of Apostles Malachi is not supposed to be the end of what of the Old Testament Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Revelation of John are supposed to be part of the Old Testament. Because Yahushua was born in what in the era of what of the law and the prophets. But his death and resurrection, his death and resurrection was what his resurrection was in the new testament that is to say his resurrection marks the his death marks the end of that era and his resurrection is the beginning of something new so that resurrection which you're seeing is what is what the epistles the apostles are writing about the life of yahushua that was being written while he walked the earth by the uh, by the by the apostle uh, by the mm, by his follower by his disciples talk about john uh, matthew mark luke and the uh, and the revelations of john the things that were being written about yahushua where while he walked the earth those things about his life the the, the way he lived his life and everything the people that were together with him those things were supposed to be what in part of the Old Testament. The New Testament actually is supposed to start from the book of Acts of Apostles. So from the book of Acts of Apostles onward, then that is where you get what your New Testament. When you get to what to Jude, then Revelation of John is not supposed to be the end. Of the New Testament the revelation of John is supposed to come before the book of what acts of the Apostles these things I'm giving to you is what is to see about the positioning of what of the scripture because it is very clear you can see it even in some writings but some people have not really taken the time to to consider this why do you see that they write about the BCE or the BC you know be, before common era before common uh, before common era before common ascension all these writings why do they put in before common era is to let you know that what before this time before this dispensation 
That is to say, before the resurrection. You get it? So that means the things that happen during the, the things, Yahushua, which people, you know, those people who do not know his true name, who are still calling on the name Jesus, was born on what? On the Old Testament in another era. That is, he was, got, he was born in what? In BCE era, before common era. You get it? He was born in the BCE era. So the, the things that he did was supposed to be recorded in what? In the Old Testament. Just the same way you see what? You see the first five books of Moses, Moses and then there came in immediately the prophets. After the prophet, immediately the word, the things that Yahushua did and the ones that his apostles, the one that his disciples recorded were supposed to come. So therefore, the Torah, the prophets, and the things that Yahushua did, these are collectively supposed to be what? The Old Testament. Now, the New Testament is supposed to start from the Acts of the Apostles. So these are the things that the Apostles are writing about their Master, about Yahushua. So that is from the book of Acts of Apostles is where the New Testament is actually supposed to do what? To start. So, but you see the way they've positioned the whole thing and make people think psychologically. So you will be thinking that whenever you see the book of, whenever you want to go to the book of Revelation to read something from the book of Revelation, some people, they've already put this in their mind to, to, to think that what, those things that you are going to read in the book of Revelation are going to happen at the last time. You know, it's going to happen. Whereas, the things that we are reading in the book of Revelations have been happening, have, has happened, is happening, and is going to happen. You get it? These are things, these are revelations that has happened. It is happening, and it's going to happen. You get it? So